Hey, we just want to take a minute to uh, update you on our first Sunday back together. So this Sunday, May 17th, we're going to get together at 10 a.m. We're going to meet outside in the west parking lot. And uh, we'll kind of be stationed on the west side of the parking lot. Um, so you can plan that day to bring some things to be ready for that. Right. Um, bring your own chairs if you want to sit on a camping style chair or blanket if you want to sit on the ground. I believe we're going to be far enough back that you can sit on the grass mm -hmm. on your blanket if you choose to. Um, but if you are not comfortable even getting out and you want to come, you feel more than welcome to stay in your car because we're going to arrange it so that you can stay in your car and still see where we're at. Yeah, so we'll have like um, the the stage trailer, we'll have the trailer, we'll have seating up close, and then we'll have parking spots. Uh, we're gonna keep an eye on the weather. Uh, obviously that's always a variable in Iowa, if not just uh, the time of year we're in. Uh, it does look like um, there's gonna be a couple clear days before that. Uh, but just uh, just be flexible that day to come in and, you know, we may be under the awning if there's been rain. But all those details we can pass along to you later on. Right. And, and there may be a chance, if it's a bad day, that it could be canceled because of the weather. And if that's a possibility, please just check your emails, check Facebook, or if those aren't available to you, just call the church number and um, somebody will answer the phone. Mm -hmm. We want you to be in the mindset of, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So plan on, unless you hear otherwise, there will be church uh, Sunday at 10 a.m. And again, through all those uh, means of communication, check our Facebook wall, uh, we will be quick to communicate to you as soon as we can uh, any decision of cancellation. But for now, plan on knowing that it will be Sunday at 10 a.m. Right, we will also have a table set up outside that will have um, the lanyards on it. It will have a box for you to put your offering in and it will also have uh, individual cups of communion available if you don't bring your own. So know that those will be available. You will have to get out of your car and come to the table but then you for sure can go back to your car if you choose to. And as you can see here, we've taken uh, precaution in how that's set up. So there'll be some spacing between uh, the items and they've been handled with gloves. Uh, so we're taking extra precautions even with that table set up as well. Uh, you can do that yourself even if you want to take another level of precaution and, and bring your own communion if you'll be staying in your car things like that. Um, right. Just make those decisions on your own and we want you to know that we respect that and we want to facilitate a, a day that lets all of us who gather um, just take a deep breath and soak in that we're together no matter how that looks. Exactly. But we do want you to know that we um, care how you are feeling and if you still choose not to join us Sunday that's perfectly fine. As Steve talked about, we are still family, mm -hmm. whether we're together or separated. And we love you. We want to see you. But if you are more comfortable staying home, it will still be online with the videos like we've been doing. Uh huh. Yeah. So we're going to make sure for the next two weeks that uh, the videos as we've been producing them, uh, our Sunday morning videos will be available. Um, so if you if you would rather be at home, um, that's understandable, and those videos will be available, uh, and both in our service on online and on our service here together, we'll be continuing in that strengthened through separation teaching from First Thessalonians. Exactly. We're also supposed to let you know that the elders are meeting this week, Wednesday night, with the idea of just making sure that we are following all the guidelines that mm -hmm. are out there for this COVID-19 time. Yeah, it, we want to make sure to be a good neighbor in our community that we're uh, being responsible and, and working along with uh, our community to, to stop the spread of this virus and also just to uh, be respectful of each other. So uh, we appreciate our leadership being a part of those conversations and, and talking through some details as we come back together, even right. in the building. Right, and, and again, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email us or call us on the phone or um, just reach out to us because we want to make sure you understand 
what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we're excited. We're we very excited. We actually, Nancy and I just went out. We had some thoughts about trying to picture our setup Sunday and just getting to actually walk out in the parking lot and just prayerfully think about um, that you guys would be gathered together. Um, man, that's, that's awesome. It'll be great. And we'll be singing some songs together yeah. to hear each other's voices. And we'll hear words of encouragement from Steve. And just to see each other. Again, remember, um, we have the lanyards for you to choose the colors. We can hardly wait to be together, to worship and praise the Lord together. Yeah, so no matter where you fit in that, in that spectrum, you are family. We are Christ's family gathered together in his name and uh, getting to see some of these steps, step by step, uh, to come closer, uh, whether it's in our hearts or even be together in the same place. In all of these ways, we just see uh, God working and we continue to pray. Uh, for his direction in this. Right. We'll see you Sunday. See you guys. You are my angel.